Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's talk Poshmark. And I just counted out how many bolos I had and I forgot. Oh, shucks. Okay, I got a lot. But um, some of these are bundles and I really want you guys that don't sell on Poshmark to see how these bundles work because it's super, super cool. And um, not all of these bolos are clothing. So um, these are definitely items to be on the lookout for that you can sell on any platform, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy. You are not limited to just Poshmark for these items. So I hope that makes sense. I don't want you guys to come on and be like, oh, it's a Poshmark video. I'm not going to learn anything because even if you sell on eBay, I have all of these items cross posted to Mercari and eBay. Well, maybe not all of them, but most of them. All right, let's get started. The first item is this necklace, this Talbot's red necklace. So this came from my bulk buy eBay. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, which this one actually sold on Poshmark first, but you get the point, the whole idea of the video. So this is just a Talbot's red beaded necklace. Now this is a bread and butter item all day long. I like putting items like this on Poshmark because people will bundle them with other items and you will see what I mean in it as I move through these um, listings. I sold this for $9. Poshmark took $2.95. So, oh, my math is not great. Um, let's round up to three. So I made $5.95 on this. So I'm good with that. Or is that right? Or no, 605. 605. I'm sorry, 605. Six dollars and five cents. And I had probably pennies in it. So very cool. The next item is this express skirt. And this one sold for more than most of them sell for. I, I typically get between 15 and 20 dollars for my express skirts, but this one sold for 25 and it had like the, the detail here. I picked this up at a discount store for three dollars. The next item I sold was this black chain link necklace. This came from Donatella Bodolino's auction. I purchased a box from her that had miscellaneous vintage items in it, and she threw in a mini jewelry jar. And I've sold a lot of the pieces of jewelry already, but this is another one. Again, not a huge bolo, but things like this are so easy to put up on Poshmark and you know, people lot them with other items. So this sold for $8. Poshmark took $2.95. I think it's either anything under $10 or $15. They automatically take $2.95. After that, it's 20% is what they take. Um, shipping is $7.11 for if they make, if they create a bundle of 10 things and it weighs under five pounds, they're paying $7.11, which is a really great thing about Poshmark. So $8. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. $8 minus $3. So I made like $5.05 on this. But the box that I bought from Donna, I paid $25 with free shipping. So I already made $5 back on one single necklace that, you know, some people might not even have listed. So yeah, definitely something to think about. The next item are these lot of 10 ties. I have other ties that are lotted up like this as well, and I'd really like to sell them all. So come make me an offer. I have them on eBay also, eBay, Poshmark. I don't know if I put them on Mercari or not. I cross post most of my items using List Perfectly. But um, yeah, I sold these for $20 and I picked up a whole huge box of ties, probably over 100 ties for five bucks at a garage sale. It was like a moving sale, but it was a garage sale. The next item, this North Face shirt, I picked it up at a garage sale for two bucks and I sold it for 17 and the buyer paid shipping. Another shirt from that same sale, um, two bucks, sold it for 19, buyer paid shipping. So on this listing, I used the new um, background filter that's on our Apple iPhones for through eBay and it makes it really white. I don't know how I feel about it. Like it just looks like it's floating. Like at least here the, the guy has a neck, you know? What do you guys think? With? Without? Or with? What do you think? Tell me what you like better. Comment below. And the reason I say the eBay filter is, is because I listed this on eBay. 
and then I cross posted it to Poshmark. So my photos came over from me. Okay. Next I David's bridal veil. Um, it looks like this. This picture is horrible. I should redo it, but I just don't want to drag it out again. And I really don't know how to make that look good because either way, it's going to be touching my carpet. And I, I don't know. But stock photos, I, I think they're allowed on Poshmark. I never use it as my first photo. But this one, I really felt like it was necessary to really show the item. This is a retail arbitrage. I bought this off the David's Bridal website on clearance. I think I paid like $12 or $13 for it. Not, you know, it's retail arbitrage. You're not going to get those huge margins that you get when you pick things up at a discount store or you're buying like vintage and antiques and stuff like that. You're not going to get those huge margins. So bought it for 12 or 13, sold it for 38. I still like doubled my money and got my money back. So that's still good. But again, you guys can go on websites and look through their clearance and buy it and resell it. I used to do it all the time. I don't do it anymore because it's time consuming and the margins are not as good. And you have to be patient and find the sales. So this is a Bucilla Noah's Ark personalized birth record. It is a cross stitch kit. I sold this for $25 and the buyer pays the shipping. Poshmark took $5 because they take 20%. So I essentially get $20 and I want to say I paid probably a buck or two for this at a garage sale. The next item is this vintage Ceramica Ex Excelsius. I can never say that. But it's 1985 and it's Jesus holding a cross. This is what it looks like on the bottom. It is numbered. I've done pretty well with these. I picked these up at the Goodwill. I think I got like eight or nine of them. Don't quote me on that number. And it was a certain price. They considered it Christmas. So I got it 50% off. But I've done really well. Um, you've I've sold a couple others that were in my other what sold video. I can't remember what they sold for, but it was more than this one. This um, again sold for twenty five, but I think it was eight dollars with fifty percent off, so four bucks for like eight of them, so like fifty cents or something each. So these Ralph Lauren eyeglasses I picked up at a garage sale. It's probably been a year ago. They sat for a long time, but I paid a buck for them. And they were prescription, so I just put four frames only. And I sold these for $30 plus shipping, so um, definitely worth the wait. The next item is this Red Hat Society lot of pins, bracelets, watches, and more. So it's just a lot of the Red Pin Society items that I picked up at, uh, I believe it was like a garage sale and it was a bulk buy. And I just lotted these things together, probably had less than a dollar in all of it. Took a best off, or yeah, it took an offer of 10. Posh took their 295. So I got 705. Is that right? No, that's not right. Oh my gosh, why can't I do math? 10, 9, 8, 7, 695. I got six. No, maybe it was 705. You guys help me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7 dollars. 705. I was right the first time. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to try and figure it out anymore. You guys get the point. They take 20%. So Nike Zoom Women's, I picked these uh, tennis shoes up at a garage sale. I think I paid $3 for them and I sold them for 20 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Wilson's suede skirt size 12. I picked this up at a garage sale with a uh, fringe jacket that matched. I sold, I'm selling them separately. This is Wilson's Leather Experts. It's a size 12. Um, if you guys do not know, vintage items typically run small. Always put your measurements. Um, the person did open up a case. They said that the item did not fit them, that it was too small. It was not a normal size 12. And I said, well, the item is vintage. I did disclose the measurements in the description. And I was sorry that it didn't fit. And there are no returns on Poshmark unless the item is not as described. So Poshmark did take my side on this and did not allow them to return the item because I had the measurements posted. So always be sure to put measurements in the description. It is worth your time. 
The next item is this Mondor Girls Ice Skating Dance Dress. It's like a skating dress. I picked this up at a garage sale for $3 and I sold it for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is these retired Stampin' Up! wood mounted rubber stamps. I get these at garage sales all the time. I actually have a huge lot. I mean, I'm talking hundreds listed, but the shipping is probably just too high and it's not selling. Um, I Maybe I'll end up unboxing it and parting them out. I'll probably make more money that way, but it will be a lot of work. And for now, I've just got it like a, as a wholesale item in my eBay store. So this one sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these ice hockey scrapbook stickers. I always pick these up at garage sales if they are cheap and I can bulk them together. I probably have less than 10 cents in all of these. Sold them for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage angel food cake cutter. I picked this up at a garage sale for $1. Uh, the handle is Bakelite. If you don't know how to test for Bakelite, I have a video on that and you can go check it out. Um, I teach you how to do that. This sold for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Origami Out lockets, charms, and plates. I picked this up at a garage sale. It was in like a display type thing and it had like all of the pricing sheets. It was kind of like a consultant's that people had maybe bought and not paid for so they were all personalized however I mean the one has an M the one says like I love you to the moon and back you know different things like that I don't know if it actually says that but it's something along those lines um I love you love mom um you are my sunshine uh so anyway just stuff like that and I paid I think a dollar for all of it so I sold this for $60 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item. Okay, this was a very, very stale, old, 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 old. I can't even explain to you how old this listing was. Like eight years old, maybe. Oh, that's horrible. Um, I had it on eBay and it was a, this is another reason why Poshmark is good for things like this. Fashion Bug, you guys remember when Fashion Bug went out of business? I bought so much stuff from Fashion Bug and I sold it for so much money. I did so well. But this was one of the jackets I bought there. And the original tags attached for $109, but the, the brand is Black Rivet. And nobody's really heard of Black Rivet, but it's super cute when you put the neck up, I think. But I think what sold this was the fact that um, somebody probably saw it when it got shared. I don't think anybody was searching for a black rivet jacket, you know? I'm guessing, I'm sorry you guys, my eyes are um, really bothering me right now. You know how when your eyes get dry? I feel like I'm blinking. It's almost, uh, it's getting close to 1 a.m. here, so I'm getting very tired, but sometimes my eyes get dry. So I apologize for that. You might not be able to tell because of my hat, so that might be a good thing. Um, so yeah, I think this sold because somebody saw it and thought it was cute. So that's one advantage of sharing your posh closet is that um, people will just maybe see the item and be like, oh, that's cute. I'm going to buy it. So I sold it for $30. I probably had a buck or two in it and the buyer paid shipping. And I was very happy to see that one go. I mean, I still made a ton of money on it. So that's great. Not a ton, but you know what I mean? Really good margins. Okay, so here is an example of why I like putting jewelry on Poshmark. So I have these earrings, this necklace, these five bracelets, this mixed lot, these earrings, this bracelet, and $78. Poshmark took $15.60. So my earnings on these items was $62.40. So most of these items came from bulk buy. Um, this is not from my most recent bulk buy. Um, these came from Donatella Bodolino's auction. Um, and then the rest of it came from a garage sale where either way, I'm going to say I have $5 or less in all of these items. So I took the $78 offer. I made $62 and 40 cents. 
So that was fantastic. The buyer only paid $7, I think, and 11 cents shipping for all of these items. So it's definitely a win-win when you can get somebody to bundle. The next item are these kids clothes. I pick up kids clothes all the time at garage sales. I try to like, I like it when they're like, oh, get the whole bag. I've went to garage sales and I'm like, how much for all your kids clothes? I've done that a couple of times. Um, I buy things that way. And then I lot them up like this. So they're getting a lot of 13 boys, 12 months. And then here, you know, so you can see right here, these three lots, they offered me $35. Poshmark took seven. I walked with $28. I probably had $5 or less in all these items. Here's another bundle. This is vintage silverware that I picked up at a garage sale. And I bought these two sets and then another set, which you're going to see, which it's surprising to me that these sold on um, Poshmark first. If you don't know, Poshmark has a home section. So um, yeah, you can sell home goods items now. So I had 40 on one set, 35 on the other. It is silver plate. They offered me 41 for both sets. And I was like, sure. I had less than probably a dollar in each set. So sold it after Poshmark took their fees for $32.80. Again, I love people that bumble, bumble. I love it when people bundle on Poshmark. So these 1988-1999 Boyd's Folkstone Frogs. Not a quick seller, but definitely if you're patient, they will sell. I picked these up for like a buck at a garage sale, sold them for $22 plus shipping. Here's another um, Express Jeans. I picked these up at a discount store. I probably have about three, $3.50 $3 in each one. So let's say $7 total. Um, they offered me $50. Poshmark took $10. So I, my earnings were $40 minus the $7 that I um, invested in, in the item. So pretty good profit there. Again, a nice little bundle. The next item are these Victoria's Secret brawls. And you can see they bought all of these brawls. So again, bundling, they paid one shipping price of $7 and I think 11 cents. I sold it for $125. Poshmark took $25. So I got $100 for what? Three, six, seven, seven brawls. Yeah, seven brawls. These came from a discount store. They are marked through like um, they're either black lined or something of that sort so that they cannot be returned to the store. So they're new without tags. So hundred bucks right there. Boom. Love it. It was exciting. The next item, again, two more Victoria's Secret brawls. 40 bucks, Posh took eight, I got $32. Um, I think I paid around three bucks each for these. The next item are these two men's express button shirts. Paid 40 bucks, Posh took eight, I got 32. These were around $3 each also. Here's that other set of silverware. I sold this one for 25 and the buyer paid shipping. And you guys look, this silverware is not in great shape. I mean, look at it. It's not good. And it's still sold. The next item are these three Cacique skirts. They're swim skirts. I sold them for $50. Posh took 10. I got 40. I had approximately $3 each in these. This Anna Lee doll. I won this from T. Um, on YouTube channel Auctions For You. They um, do online auctions on her channel and on Donatella Bodolino's channel. But I was in their live show one night and they did an auction and I won this little Anna Lee doll and I listed her and she sold super quick for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. So I had zero money in this because I got it free during a giveaway. So super exciting. And if you guys have not checked out auctions for you, there's a link down in the description of the video. It's towards the bottom, but definitely go check that out. It's a great place to source. The next item I had this, I had just done a video on this and I found one at the Goodwill for a buck and I sold it really fast for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. Not a huge bolo. Um, it's a bread and butter bolo, vintage 1981 nativity um, collectible. 
The next item is are, are these two brawls. I got these at a discount store. They are marked through, but they are new without tag. Well, actually, the first one's new with tags. Maybe that one. I think actually I got these on a bulk buy on eBay. Yes, I did. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. A bulk buy on eBay. And they ended up being about $5 each, but I bought a huge box full. Someone was wholesaling them. But uh, $40 is what they offered me. So I had about 10 in it. And Posh took eight. So $32 was my earning minus the 10 I had in them. So I made $22 profit. The next item are these ballet shoes. I picked these up at a garage sale for about 50 cents. I sold them for $10 um, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Brett's and these sandals. Again, you know, would I have sold these Brett's if the person wasn't buying the sandals? Probably not, but it ended up working out. It was a nice little bundle. I sold it for $38. Posh took $7.60 and I'm my earnings were $30.40 minus the cost of the items. These sandals were again, same as the veil that I showed you guys earlier. I got that on the David's Bridal website. And I want to say those were between five and $10 for these sandals. And I have so many of them left. I, I would not do it again. So um, lesson learned, I am selling them, but they are a hard item to sell. So they're slow, long tail. And then the Brett's were a garage sale. All right. Let me try and get this back open. Okay. Thanks for watching. And again, sorry for all of the blinking. Um, I'm going to try and do one more video. But I'm so tired. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you hit that bell, that will alert you when I post new videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Night.